Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square and this is Danger Zone, which is the latest game from Three Fields Entertainment. Now if you don't know who Three Fields Entertainment are, they're an indie developer comprised of many of the founding members um, from Criterion, and Criterion obviously made the Burnout games, and Danger Zone is very much a love letter to Crash Mode from Burnout 3 Takedown. Now I've just realised that scarily there'll be some people watching this who will have never played Burnout 3 takedown and won't have actually heard of crash mode before so I'm going to explain a little bit what I mean by crash mode so this was basically a mini game uh, in burnout 3 takedown and it's best described as a puzzle game where your objective is to drive a car into oncoming traffic um, the more cars you smash into you'll build up a meter which will allow you to kind of detonate your car causing more damage um, and you can kind of control your car in the air so you can pick up tokens you can pick up um, power-ups and all sorts of other stuff like that and basically your objective is to cause as much damage as possible um, and rack up a high score which is then posted to a leaderboards and danger mode um, sorry danger zone is crash mode down to a T it's exactly the same as I remember it in burnout 3 takedown the only difference here is that it all takes place in kind of a crash test sort of simulated environment um, which I I think was probably selected to save money on art assets and stuff like that because this is very low budget so you can see from the gameplay here it's not exactly a visual looker um, there's very little audio there's no music for example it's been made on a shoestring this game basically from what I can see um, but that doesn't change anything the gameplay is rock solid um, it's really fun there are about 20 um, sort of simulations in the game um, each with three medals for you to collect and leaderboards um, so there's quite a bit to do and I've only got a couple of gold medals so far so you're going to need to keep playing um, and really learn the levels to get those perfect crashes to get the top scores um, but yeah this is crash mode <laughs> if you like crash mode then you're going to enjoy this game um, and if you've never played it before then I'd really recommend it, it is really fun um, but like I say the presentation does bring it down a bit um, but that is reflected by the price points this is $9.99 in the UK and you can get it for $8.99 at the moment with PlayStation Plus. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the American price but I'm going to guess it's about $12.99 um, and that seems really reasonable for what this is. It's not going to break the bank um, but it's really good fun. It seems well designed. The levels seem good so far and I was reading Eurogamer's review um, a little earlier. Do check that out if you um, if you want to know a little bit more about the game but I was reading Eurogamer's review and while these first levels that I'm doing here are quite straightforward and, and pretty much what you'd expect from a, a kind of modern crash mode in 2017 apparently the levels get a lot more imaginative a lot more creative later on so that's good to hear it's good that they can keep shaking up the formula and finding new ways to have you smash into traffic basically um, but let me know what you think in the comments section below is this the kind of game that you've been looking for on the ps4 obviously there was dangerous golf uh, last year I think which was a similar kind of game but I don't think it was exactly what people wanted people wanted the car crashing action rather than a golf ball um, but yeah this seems fun like I say it's very low budget um, but I'm enjoying it and I will keep going back to it and it's just a simple thing that you can pick up and play for a few minutes um, and get a lot of satisfaction out of. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more PS4 stuff and thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.